What's going on guys? Brandon Havrilla from Red Max Events. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another product overview. Today we're taking a look at my favorite compact, lightweight, and super loud line array. These are the HDL6 line array boxes from RCF. Check it out. Now I got these speakers just about a year ago and we've been using them ever since on our medium to larger events. These are not going to be brought out for your average wedding. These are more your like 300 to 500 plus guest count events. Whether that's a small concert, a larger wedding or an outdoor festival, these speakers are designed for a longer throw and a larger crowd. Now the reason I love the RCF HDL6 boxes out of the rest of the line is because of their size. They are so small and they only weigh 25 pounds. A large contributing factor to the weight is that they are made out of a plastic composite material which keeps them super durable and again very lightweight, easy to transport and most importantly easy to actually deploy whether you're hanging them on a stand or rigging them. It's very easy for one person to hold and manage the box while a second person pushes the pins on. If you're mounting it on a pole like this, it could actually be put up with one person, which I absolutely love. These speakers feature a 1400 watt peak amp and inside they're powered with two six inch woofers and one 1.7 inch driver in the top. I was speaking a little bit about the design of the cabinet and how they're meant to throw. Basically these have a hundred degree horizontal spread, which is different from your normal powered, you know, cabinet that you take to a DJ job. These have a hundred degree spread, which means they're going to cover a wide area while only a 10 degree vertical throw, which means it's a narrow band vertically. They have a max SPL of 131 dBs and that's measured at one meter. The frequency response of these is 65 hertz to 20,000 hertz, which gives them a large band of frequencies that they cover. Now, speaking of the frequency band that they cover, these boxes are designed to be paired with subs. So these are not going to do your super low end frequencies. They're not going to sound like a full range powered speaker. These are designed to be flown up top while you have subs to fill in that lower gap of frequencies. Let's take a look at the physical cabinet. Now on the front of the RCF cabinets, it's a very clean look, which I really like. And when they're stacked multiple, it's a nice clean flat front grill. You have the connecting points with the pins right on the sides. And on both sides of the back, you have a plastic handle, which is easy to grab, lift off, carry, transport, place in the cases, whatever it may be. Again, as I mentioned, these are very simple and easy to deploy speakers. And part of that is because on the back, you basically have your power in and power out, which is power con which offers a durable twist lock connection. So if you're flying these up in the air, you don't have to worry about an IEC falling out. Then on the other side, you have your XLR in and your XLR out, your main volume control, as well as a button for high frequency, either flat or boost. If you are looking to throw a longer distance, you can turn the high frequency boost on, which will make it cut through the audience. Lastly, one of the features I really like about these speakers, because they have a built-in DSP internally, and you don't have access to a screen showing the live meters, they have three LED indicators. You have your main power indicator, which will light up green when the box has power. You then have a signal light, which will light up showing that the box is receiving signal. And then last, you have your limiter light, which is going to light up if the cabinet is limiting. You'll then notice on the back of the box, you have adjustable pins and a bracket to set the angle at multiple degrees, allowing you to curve your line array boxes to the configuration that you need. And that's it for the box itself. I will note these speakers are available in black and white. So if you are using these for a DJ application or you're installing them in a club or a bar and you want that clean white look, these speakers do come in a full white box, including the plastic cabinet and the white painted grill. The reason I went with the HDL sixes as opposed to a larger line array cabinet is because I could always expand on these and it's easy to have 20 of these versus 10 larger ones for a few reasons. Like I mentioned, they're super lightweight, easy to actually deploy, transport, move around. And because they're smaller, they take up less room in your warehouse or storage unit. I'm going to show you guys the fly bar that you can purchase separately. 
and with that you can hang 16 boxes off of it. And my other favorite part of purchasing these boxes is I don't have to worry about outgrowing them because if we need more, we could purchase more. And if we do purchase a larger line array for bigger events, I can always keep these and use them as center fills or side fills or delay stacks or anything like that. These are perfect little boxes where you don't need as much power as the main front of house system, but you still need great quality and you want lightweight boxes to transport. Now all the pins you need to stack and clip these line array boxes into each other are included and they're actually screwed in with a small like safety lead on the sides of the boxes. This is great because you don't have to worry about forgetting pins or not bringing them. However, the only downfall I found is some of the cases and solutions to store and transport these, the pins get in the way when they're in there. So you might want to consider taking those safety leads off and transporting the pins separately. Again, another reason is if you do not put them back in and they are left loose in the case, they could easily scratch the grill or damage the cabinet. I absolutely love this line array system, plan on purchasing more boxes as we move forward as well. But one of the main accessories I recommend you purchase is the fly bar. Now this is the FL-B fly bar. Comes in at about 16 pounds, which is only 10 pounds less than the actual HDL6 boxes. But what that allows it to do is be A, super strong for flying the boxes, but B, allows you to hold 16 of the HDL boxes when it's flown. This includes three different mounting options as well as all the pins and feet that you need to configure them. You get the tripod adapter as shown here. You can mount it on a tripod, a crank stand, and stack multiple boxes on top of each other. However, to get the full use out of this and fly 16 boxes, it needs to be flown off of trussing or rigging somehow. And you could do so with the included shackle adapter, which would clip onto the fly bar and allow you to run steel flex cable through it to mount it or rig it off truss. This is the bar that would go into the fly bar bracket when you're going to fly it off the shackle. You'll notice this bar has 30 different holes that you can mount the shackle in, which gives you a lot of control of how you want to hang it. I should note there's one additional accessory you could purchase if you will be flying this or installing it, and that's the CL-BR, which is a clamp bracket for the RCF fly bar. It simply pins into the fly bar at whatever degree angle you want to set it at, and it's got an O-clamp on it, which conveniently goes around two inch pipe or two inch trussing. However, that is sold separately and not included with the fly bar. The last accessory you do get with the fly bar is the M20 threaded adapter. Now you could screw this into any subwoofer that has a standard M20 adapter, then simply lock the fly bar on. It includes screw in rubber feet for the bottom to protect the metal on your subwoofer, as well as level it out and then you can simply ground stack off the top of your subs. As I mentioned, we've used these speakers on several events, so I'm gonna include some footage here of them performing at those events. However, I'm not gonna do a full sound test or sound demo because it's very inaccurate by the time it goes through my camera microphone, through my you know, video editing software, and then coming out your speakers. It's not an accurate sound test anyway. I do recommend you go find a local dealer or a local production company that has these speakers if you're interested in purchasing them. One event in particular we used these for was a large outdoor festival, and we had a acapella group performing through these. They're crystal clear sound. They sound amazing with vocals and high-end instruments coming through them. We ran four of these boxes, two on either side of the stage on top of a sub, and it almost filled the whole park itself we had a few delay stacks throughout, but this system is super powerful. Check it out. Tennis racket, this is a squash racket. If you don't play squash, all you need to know here is that squash rackets are a lot smaller. That's important because I'm going to fit. <laughs> We also use these for a Relay for Life, which I'll overlay some pictures and clips here of these speakers performing there, where we did three per side stacked on the pole mounts on top of the subs. These threw across a full football field. We were getting compliments on the sound all night, and I'm looking forward to adding more to our inventory. <laughs> Now these RCF boxes only weigh 25 pounds each, which makes them easy to hold with one hand. If you are ground stacking them or configuring them off a tripod, you could easily install them with one person. However, if you are mounting off the fly bar, I do recommend having a second person to help you put the pins in. Now, because these speakers only have that 10 degree vertical coverage, you're pretty much always going to be running at least two boxes per side. Also in the nature and the design of a line array, often you'll be running a stack with several of them on either side. 
With that said, I do recommend these cable accessories having short jumper cables to get from box to box. I'll have a link down below where you can purchase these off Amazon should you want, but basically I have about one and a half foot XLRs to come out of one box and into the next, and a one foot power con which keeps the back of the units super clean and also saves you a lot of time and not having to coil up all this extra cable. Thank you guys for watching my video overview on the RCF HDL6s. I hope you guys enjoyed. All in all, these are great, super lightweight, powerful cabinets. The fly bar and the speakers are very easy to attach and deploy. If you guys have any questions about these speakers, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If you're looking to purchase, I'll also have links to where you can purchase everything I spoke about in this video in the description. If you guys are new around here and you haven't, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out in any way, please leave me a thumbs up. You can follow me on Instagram at Brandon Havrilla to see behind the scenes footage of these videos as well as our events. If anyone else out there has these speakers, I'd love to know what you think of them down in the comments below. Have you outgrown them? Have you expanded? Have you bought more? Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.